Hi everybody, Psalmist David here with Fresh Bread, uh, inspirational word, and some music. That's birth right there. Yeah, prophetic. So, short little word today. Um, blessed are those who believe without seeing me. Jesus is saying, um, exercise your, your faith more. Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. And um, the little thought here is John chapter 20, where uh, Thomas, um, Jesus is resurrected and the rest have seen him, but Thomas hasn't. And even though all of their testimony is there, um, Thomas says, no, I'm not going to believe. So um, what it says is one, one of the 12 uh, disciples, Thomas nicknamed the twin, was not with the others when Jesus came. They told him, we have seen the Lord. But he replied, I won't believe it unless I see the nail wounds in his hands, put my fingers into them and place my hand into the wound in his side. Eight days later, the disciples were together again, and this time Thomas was with them. The doors were locked, but suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand into the wound in my side. Don't be faithless any longer. Believe. My Lord and my God, Thomas exclaimed. Then Jesus told him, you believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. And we're in Christmas season here now, and I, I'm i just um, reminded that uh, Simeon and Anna were the two who uh, played a major role in the whole Christmas Christmas story, and neither of them had, had an angel c come and appear to them. Uh, Joseph had an angel, Mary had, had an angel, um, the shepherds had an angel, the wise men saw a star. Simeon and Anna didn't have any sign. They had a witness of the Holy Spirit in their heart. And that's what I want us to, to practice today. Practice hearing that witness. Don't be uh, co cognitively trying to reason out everything that happens and ma make the best decision based on the facts and there's a time for that but i think what god is saying is um without seeing things can you believe me can you sense what i'm saying can you hear holy spirit's voice without seeing a physical manifestation of something and that's a powerful place to get to um and uh, so when God says he's seeking those who will worship in spirit and truth because God is spirit, that's the level that God is looking for us to mature at. And so I just want to encourage you this, this day. Let's uh, pray that we will be able to see things before we see them. <laughs> we will be able to believe things, believe something that God is doing before we even see it. And this is, this is to, to myself as much as any, anybody else. Uh, we all need to grow in this. But God is saying, blessed are the ones who can believe even though they don't see. All right. Great word. God, you're going to have to help my unbelief. Somehow I like to see before I believe. But I hear you now, I hear you now. I believe, even though I do not see. So 
so gently and softly and quietly I want to hear God before I hear I want to see before I see I want to believe in you believe your word even though I do not see help my unbelief Lord help my I believe you, Lord. I believe you, Lord. I believe you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Have a great one, people. Let's go walk in faith.